It has been 30 years since one of the darkest days for Orange County Fire Rescue, February 24th, 1989. That day they lost two of their own while fighting a, a fire. A roof collapsed, trapping the men inside the building. It's a tragedy the department says will never be forgotten, not only because of the exceptional men lost, but the lessons they learned to keep others safe. And today, those firemen will be honored with a section of Forsyth Road to be named in their memory. News 6 and 9's Carolina Cardona is live at Orange County Fire Rescue headquarters ahead of that ceremony. That's right, we're just a couple of hours away from that ceremony now. Todd Aldridge and Mark Benji were in their late 20s when they went inside a gift store to contain a fire. Both men are described as some of the best firemen in Orange County Fire Rescue. Now, after that incident, the Aldridge Benji Safety Fire Fi Firefighter Safety Act was created precisely to alert firemen of the risks of certain types of roofs. The Sunset Gift Center in Orlando, which still stands 30 years later, was the scene of the first major incident in the history of Orange County Fire Rescue. There's not a day that goes by that I try and figure out how I could have stopped it. You know, I think we all do. What could we have done different? Definitely one of the worst days. TJ Lyon was assistant chief in 1989. He remembers how his heart sank when within seconds of his arrival, the roof of the gift shop collapsed. Three firefighters were inside, only one escaped. Rolled out of the exit door, uh, air pack first. She actually broke an exit door that was illegally chained. But Todd Aldridge and Mark Benji didn't make it out. It's important to remember those lessons we learned. It's important to remember Mark and Todd and why we do what we do today. Today we have policies in place, procedures in place, requirements, uh, two in, two out, for example. So making sure uh, that when we go in, uh, that we have an acceptable team outside that can, can affect the rescue on firefighters that are in trouble. They have us be aware of uh, building construction. Sometimes it feels like a long time ago, but most of the time it feels like yesterday. It's um, something you don't forget. I think about him every day. Todd's sister has a little recollection from the day she got the news, but she still holds on to the memory of his laughter and the devoted father he was. He was like a Mr. Mom before it was fashionable. Todd would call like four times a day. Did the boy eat? What did he eat? Did he take a nap? They were some of the best. You know, Mark was a relatively young firefighter paramedic, uh, the kind of guy you'd want on your crew. I mean, he was the one that was trying to do the best job and was always first to step up. These guys cannot be forgotten. Actually, any firefighter cannot be forgotten because the fact is that the day that they sign on, to become firefighters, that's when they give their lives over to the safety of the community. Now, buildings with a roof truss are now required to have a plaque with the letter R in front, precisely to alert those firefighters of the type of roof that that building has. The ceremony takes place at 11 a.m. We are expected to hear um, from the mayor and as also as from the chief uh, right here at the headquarters of Orange County Fire Rescue. That's the information I have for now. I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Back to you. Certainly remembering the legacy they left. Thank you, Carolina.